retired some art here. Um, uh, some of my blog readers may remember a, a post I did about becoming an honorary postal delivery guy here. Um, the way it all started was I was expecting some mail and it didn't come and it didn't come and I, I stopped in at the post office regularly a couple times a week. They got to the point where they knew me really well. Then they started asking me to deliver the mail to my brown guy. I'm guessing because I could deliver the mail, the postal carrier would not have to put fuel in his motorcycle to deliver the mail out here. We live about 12 miles north of town. So I was saving them money and the mail was getting delivered. Uh, that would never happen in the United States or probably Britain or Australia, anywhere in the West. Uh, but the inefficiencies of the Philippine Post Office are, are probably a, a topic that you could write a book about. But it's not just the Philippine Post Office that has its inefficiencies. Here's a good example. I received two pieces of mail today. One was an inquiry that I made with uh, the United States Internal Revenue Service about missing my uh, my tax return for 2014 never got posted. So a year ago I wrote them a letter asking them to follow up and see if they could find my return. I just now got the letter today. But it wasn't totally the IRS's fault for a slow response. If you look here you'll notice the uh, mail did not go where it was intended to go. It wound up in the Netherlands first and from there it was forwarded to the Royal Post Office in England and I gotta give credit where credit is due. Uh, the mail arrived in Tacloban on the 29th and it was forwarded to and received by the Calbiac City Post Office on the same day, 29. So all inefficiency aside, I think that's pretty good. Anyway, Royal Mail. So the United States Post Office uh, slipped up originally, probably routed it internationally, and I don't know how it wound up in the Netherlands. And then they sent it to Great Britain, and eventually it found its way here, about a year. So who do you want to point fingers at on this one? Several countries, I guess. This one, uh, airmail from my insurer, um, was mailed. February of 2016. So it got here rather quickly. Four months for regular mail. Not too bad. So if anybody is thinking about using the postal system anywhere in this world, uh, do it at your own risk. When I usually have to have something officially uh, done, I'll do certified mail, which is a lot more reliable. Or from here, I'll do LBC, uh, which I've never had a problem with LBC. It's expensive. It's, it's equivalent to the overnight rates in the United States. Uh, or maybe using FedEx or UPS, but it's reliable and it, it, it's a signature guarantee and I always get my mail. So LBC here, see you later.